I know y'all want to get your hands on one of these disco ball hats for the Renaissance tour, but if you're unable to purchase one in time, let me show you guys how to make it yourself. It's super easy to make, it just takes a little bit of time and some elbow grease. So stay tuned if you guys want to learn how to make it. For materials, you're going to need a plain cowboy hat. I got this one from a craft store, but you guys can purchase it from Amazon if you would like. I do have it listed in my Amazon storefront. You're also going to need some mirror ball tiles. I got these on Amazon as well. I got a pack of 10,800 for about 20 bucks. Since my hat is black, I'm going to be painting it silver. So I got this silver acrylic paint from a craft store. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to paint your hat silver. Now my hat is black, so that's why I'm painting it silver. If your hat was white, you can just leave it white. Or if your mirror tiles happen to be another color, just paint the hat the color of those tiles. This is going to help mask some of the gaps that you're going to get as you're laying the tiles down. While the paint on my hat is drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut my disco ball sheets into strips. This is going to make it a lot easier when I'm putting it on the hat and it's going to give it a more professional look to it. This is what the hat looks like after the paint is dry. Have y'all seen that movie? Nope. I think the bottom of this hat looks kind of like jean jacket. Anyways. Okay, so now that your paint's dry, you're going to take one of your mirror ball strips and you're going to peel off that paper backing that's on the back of it and you're going to reveal the adhesive. Next, you're going to take your tile and you're going to start from the outside of the hat and work your way in. So I just started on the brim and I just pressed that tile into the hat. That way it had a good bond. After you place your first tile, you can just continue and place those tiles until you're done with the entire brim. In hindsight, I should have used an adhesive when placing these down. Like I said before, the glue will give you a good bond, like it's going to stay. But if you want to have a permanent bond of those tiles to the hat, you want to use a really good adhesive. I'm going to link the one that I like to use for my blinking projects below. It should be located in my Amazon storefront as well. So this is what the first layer of the disco ball tiles looks like on the hat. I think it looks really good. So after I got done with that layer, I went ahead and started laying the next layer. When I got about halfway through the brim of the hat, I realized I can just take full strips and maneuver them around the curves. It gives you the same effect as if you were to break them down and do them individually. By laying down full strips onto the hat, it's going to save you a lot of time for the same effect. Another suggestion that I have after making this hat is the next time I make one of these hats, if I do, I would definitely use rubber gloves instead of just going in bare. As I'm pressing down the um, disco ball towels into the hat, I got like little micro cuts on my hand. So to avoid that, I would just wear some kind of glove to do that. I continued to lay those towels horizontally and as I approached the top of the hat, I just curved around any kind of jagged edges to fit the towels in. And as you can see here, as I'm working around the side of the hat, I just curved the towels until they fit perfectly. Once I reached the top of the hat, I continued to lay the tiles down in strips, but as I was placing them down, I just made sure to curve it around those curves. Once the top started to close up, I ended up going in and just placing in individual strips. It was a lot easier than trying to curve around the little small curves. So this is what the hat looks like with just the top tiled. If you wanted to stop here, you could do that, but we're going to go ahead and put the tiles on the bottom of the hat too. I repeated the same steps with the bottom. I started by tiling from the brim and then I worked my way to the inside of the hat. Except this time, I'm starting out with the full strips instead of the small little pieces I cut out. So once you finish tiling the bottom of the hat, this is what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and do one more step. On the inside of the hat, it's a little bit jagged because these tiles are made of real glass. So we're going to go ahead and take a strip of felt. I took half inch sections and we're going to glue it around the opening of the hat. This way the glass doesn't snag our skin or our hair. I'm using regular hot glue to do this. I'm going to lay a bead of hot glue. Then I'm going to take my felt strip and I'm going to slowly place it around the curve. If you take your time placing it, it shouldn't bunch or anything and it should lay flush to the tile. And then after you've laid that felt down, the hat is all done. I think it looks super cute. And if you wanted to, you can knock it up a notch. You can add like a crystal trim to it. Um, you can change the color of it. You can pretty much do what you want. I guess that's the beauty of making it yourself. You can really customize it to what you like. If you're not a crafty person or if you don't have time to make it yourself or if you just don't feel like making yourself, the creator who actually made this hat for Beyonce is on Etsy. Her name is Trending by Abby, so I would definitely check her out and purchase one if you don't want to make it yourself. 
I'll go ahead and link her Etsy shop below so you guys can find it easily. I know that she doesn't keep the listing up unless she has hats available to sell. So if you don't see any on there right away, just check back periodically and then she lists them as she makes them. Anyways, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye.